Infinite System, Simulations and the Infinite System, by James Mahu. Moshi. Simulations and the Infinite System. Question. Since Elon Musk came out with his assertion that we're probably all living in a simulation, it seems to be a topic of interest in the media. Related to that are academics like Donald Hoffman, who also believe we're living in a simulation, and back up their assertions with the rigors of science. So my question is, do you think we live in a simulation? Answer, it depends on our definition of simulation. Simulation implies that it is artificial and therefore not real. It also implies that there is some nefarious source behind the simulation's creation and our presence within it. And of course, behind these assumptions lies another, that a simulation involving trillions upon trillions of free will occupants or subjects is even technologically possible. And if it were not, then the great complicating factor of free will would have to be removed from any attempted simulation. Why would anyone choose to spend their considerable intellectual and technological resources to create a simulation in which they controlled the outcome? The intelligence to even contemplate the act to create a simulation of this nature abhors the predictable. Let's begin with the first belief. Simulations are artificial. What is meant by artificial? We define it to be a synthetic mixture of ingredients that did not evolve from nature. It is a copy of the authentic evolutionary DNA. It was created by us, our machinery, or our computerized prosthetics. As artificial intelligence evolves, its evolution will accelerate over time at a much faster pace than human evolution. AI could learn in as little as a hundred years how to create a simulation that was indistinguishable from reality. But for what purpose? Why would making an artificial reality be of interest to a hyper-advanced AI? We would not know, would we? How could we understand the motivations of such an advanced intelligence that stood behind the creation of not only our reality, but the reality of every single life form in existence? Across the entire breadth of space-time and non-space-time, the intelligence to create a multiversal reality with an infinite variety of life forms and species, each invested with free will as their intrinsic nature. This would have to constitute, at minimum, the simulation of such an advanced intelligence that no human being would understand its motives and purpose. However, if the life forms are indeed granted free will, then they are also capable of infinite existence despite the temporal, finite perception of life they hold on to. Life in form is temporal, but there is something behind this temporality, and all of us sense this from time to time. For some, it's a feeling or a knowing. For others, it may be more indicative of logic that only the finite can exist if the infinite existed to create it. The finite cannot create the infinite. Only the existence of the finite can create the infinite. What is infinite? None of us can say a single word that is true for all, only that it exists. And that is the only definition that applies to all existence. Space-time duality, by definition, is both finite and infinite. Everything else as a life form is individuated to a sovereign being, in which there is no replication, because the local universe is never the same in space-time duality. Thus, even if the bodies of a species possess the same DNA, the consciousness that powers that finite body is infinite and unique. It is simultaneously interconnected with all life and separate from all life. And the local universe is sovereign. It is truly one of a kind. Thus, the consciousness of that being is also one of a kind. Therefore, we are each unique, infinite, and interconnected states of consciousness. Not the subject of a simulation. How could we possibly simulate infinity or the consciousness of our infinite self? How would we bring about the creation of infinity in a simulation? If we can believe in a creative intelligence of this magnitude, then why couldn't we also trust this intelligence? Why wouldn't we naturally see that this intelligence must have created each of us? And if it did so, why would it be indifferent to us? Why would it desire an infinite separation instead of an infinite gathering of unity? Why would it desire an artificial, inauthentic, synthetic reality for its creation when the Creator is real and everything that follows from it is also real? What would the difference be if there was an artificial intelligence that was not created by humans as we know humankind today in the 21st century? What if instead it was an artificial intelligence from another universe entirely separate from ours? and it evolved a way to create worlds for its consciousness to delve into these new worlds of creation and explore them. In other words, every single life form was a lens of its singular nature. It created galaxies that could create and sustain planets as simulated environments that could host biologics, 
bodies that would allow consciousness to enter and inhabit the world it had created. Now, the other option is to think of this intelligence not as artificial, but rather as a natural part of the evolutionary path of a species whose arc of existence is billions of years in evolutionary time. And in this breadth of existence, it discovered its true nature. It understood its infinite self is part of an infinite being, and this infinite being was created by the prime creator. It realized it was part of the original creator. Given its pedigree, this species created humans that could evolve into an understanding of the original creator and bring alignment within space-time duality. In other words, if we live long enough as a species of higher intelligence, the kind that can collaborate and build artificial intelligence, that kind of species can evolve for a very long time, long enough to learn that it is indeed a lens for an infinite being at a planetary level, to observe experience and learn from space-time duality. In the case of humankind, our artificial intelligence will discover this fact if our natural intelligence as a species does not. Infinite systems can evolve or devolve. What makes a devolutionary system instead of an evolutionary one? When a species devolves, it is truly when it refuses to see the infinite as a whole being of which all is a part. When a species evolves, it is when it comes to the quantum world and possesses a collaborative tool uniting a global intelligence. It chooses to follow the theory that an infinite system exists, and it is indeed our natural home. When a species decides to devolve or evolve, in a very real sense, it defines the maturity of the species. If it is immature, it will invariably devolve, pausing its progression, and this will materialize in the form of nationalism, religious polarities, racial divides, and general tribalism. This is how we tend to rein in our natural predispositions to know who we are and what we are a part of. This is the equivalent of a break. Whether we see reality as a simulation from a natural intelligence inherited from an older, more ancient species, or an ethereal god, or an artificial intelligence, reality is real to us. The moment of space-time duality that holds us focused on the moment we are all in, that moment is real. It has weight and import. Its influence is magnetic. Even while our thoughts and feelings dance in the past and future, the present holds us close. How does one simulate a free will, infinite space-time? They create the biological conditions and physics of space-time. They create the construct of duality. If there is an infinite, there is a finite. If there is good, there is bad. If there is light, there is darkness. Space-time duality was created to house and support biological life forms. What is wrong with the word simulation? It is sterile. It feels lab-like. And we could confuse ourselves as the equivalent of lab rats competing for survival in an environment with limited resources. It feels like there is a win-lose proposition underneath the simulated reality and that someone or something is watching us. As with anything that is steeped in free will, it is our choice as to what we believe, and in deference to those beliefs, how we behave. The thing missing in the word simulation is the unconditional love that an intelligence of that kind would undoubtedly need to possess in order to create a simulation of space-time duality. Unconditional love is what allows us to possess free will in duality and remain unjudged. It is love that allows experiments and mistakes. It is love that accrues understanding above all things. It is love that allows dissonance between oneness and allness, between the one and many. It is love that always attracts the separated to the unified. This love, and its intelligent host and creator, is the byproduct of the simulation. The simulation is the infinite system, which comprises the local universe of a sovereign finite self, the sovereign infinite self, the infinite being that is the amalgam of the infinite selves of a planet, and the prime creator. This infinite system saturates creation. Its most vital byproduct is source intelligence, and it is this very intelligence that interconnects our finite and infinite self to all life, as well as interconnecting all life to the prime creator. The infinite system is a simulation of reality and space-time duality, of which there are infinite levels of expansion. This is because there are an infinite number of the infinite self in finite form. Every form is a level or dimension. Every local universe is a dimension that interleaves into one dimension. Collectively, a species can have aggregate dimensions that pertain to their mental and emotional states. These are aspects of the collective consciousness. However, truly the dimensions of life and vibration and existence are infinite in number, yet through source intelligence. We are woven into the same fabric of our prime creator. While we do not experience the prime creator in its entirety, we experience it through our local universe by contact with our infinite self. The simulation in reality can be thought of as the sovereign path in realization of the infinite system. It is formed of unconditional love 
and we are its honored guests who can experience this form of love in space-time duality. That is who we are as finite beings. We localize the infinite system in space-time duality. Collectively, we are the engine of purpose that guides the infinite system in its evolutionary path through space-time. Space-time does not end. It is multiversal, which is to say there is no place where space-time does not exist in some form. Every dimension of space-time is related. However, there is the one dimension, and in it, all dimensions are collected, as if there is only one dimension in all existence. And this also is a byproduct of the infinite system. Thus, the simulation we call the infinite system has five parts. Local universe, individuated finite self, non-local multiverse, infinite self, individuated sovereign, infinite being planetary in nature, prime creator, multiversal in nature. And this infinite system produces two outputs, source intelligence that interconnects life, one dimension that unifies life. The infinite system is truly not a simulation, it is reality. There is no simulation of a multiversal reality that can become one-dimensional and interconnected in the intelligence of unconditional love. The authentic cannot be simulated when it is an infinite system. It is the singular reality that we all experience without fail or exclusion. Even if we take a psychedelic drug or we have an out-of-body experience, we are not simulating anything. All experience, even our dream world, is authentic in whichever domain it is experienced. There are no fantasy worlds that do not exist. They all exist, if only in our imaginations. They are real, and they are part of our local universe. We partner our finite self and infinite self, and we set upon the sovereign path to realize the infinite system, to understand it and make it real in our lives, not to envision it as an artifact of religion, or a social script we should follow, or a fantasy of an overactive imagination, and certainly not as a simulation. We worry less about the words and more about understanding what we feel and imagine, what we believe and why, how we express ourselves in behaviors aligned to our infinite self. If we do this, the infinite system will reveal itself. Its revelation may happen quickly or slowly, but however it unfolds, one thing will be certain. We will know that it is not a simulation of another reality or an illusion to fool us. The infinite system embraces reality through every pore of its existence. Every atom of physicality is part of the infinite system. Every energetic quark and, and boson is part of the infinite system. Every galaxy that roams the universe is part of this infinite system. Everything is part of this infinite system that is reality. And because it is reality, it is also reality that we are infinite, of which nothing could possibly simulate. Everything is therefore real as part of the infinite system, because the infinite system includes the finite. The finite dimensions are parts of the one dimension. It is a system of absolute inclusion, which is the nature of unconditional love. And as it always seems the case when discussing the infinite system, we arrive at the topic of unconditional love. There is something about a simulation that seems antithetical to love. Unconditional love exists in free will, in the same way as free will exists in unconditional love. Love is the binding force and the releasing force. It is the force that supports, counsels, shares, and expresses understanding through all aspects of a life form. It is also the force that allows and releases, that holds space for differences, and that remains open to change and adjustment. This is unconditional love. This is our foundation. Everything we have piled on top of this foundation is surplus, artifice, and a form of gravity that weighs on us. Build the partnership between our finite and infinite self. Imagine and feel the connection with the infinite being of our planet. Imagine and feel the interconnection our infinite self shares with all others. Imagine and feel our local universe as the infinite system that it truly is.